Hey old folks, coming to office 10 minutes, we'll have a sit down and we'll look what we're doing next. Right, carrying on with that boat in there, we're carrying on with the seating at the front, the bench seating. We've made the seating for, what do you call that, starboard side. Now we want it for port side and that one is not going over a tank or anything, so it's purely a bench seat that pulls out to make a bed and underneath there'll be storage we're putting drawers in it and also a cloth and accumulator and the water pump in there apart from that it's all storage and it'll have some um, services running out back of it so borrowing ideas off the of Mike Jordan's book here We're going to be making that, which you can see there. So it's a frame, and then this slides out. I don't know if it shows you any better. Oh, yeah, there. Shows you it better there. All right, so the top slides out and meets up with the other side. So you've got benches on the other side, in the middle. You've got sort of the best part of a 600mm gap. So that'll pull out, meet up with that side, and then a cushion. The cushions from the sides will all move in, and they'll make a full bed. So that's what I'm on with. Now, sort of you lose, based on what he's doing there, well, actually, probably nearly three quarters of it. It's a good little design. He's doing housing joints and all sorts of stuff like that. We're not doing that. They're not simpler joints than that, because uh, you don't have to go to those extents really. It's okay if you want to do, if you've got the time and everything, but you can achieve the same finish, you know, just as good, just as strong without that, you know. So anyway, this is how I'm going to do it. So if anybody's making a pull-out bed, all, all I'll be using here is I'm using... CLS timber, which you buy at Wix so or B and Q's and all that anyway, Canadian lumber system timber, and then tool wise, I've used chop saw, a jigsaw, drill, drill bits, screws. They uh, need a saw to, so to cut some, uh, you know, a circular saw to cut some timber on the top panel whatever you want to use, MDF plywood, whatever you want, right? So, you know, there's not a lot of tools required to make this. And the way I'm going to do it here, there's hardly, well, there isn't any sort of elaborate joints to do or anything. It's a KISS method, you know, keep it simple, stupid, which works fine. So, anyway, come on, let's get on. Right, so we'll get CAD out, and that's it all drawn out, size for size, one to one, no scale in a row. CLS frame, either side, two cross pieces, full, one full length of it, and there's a face frame up front, so that'll be pretty wood, and this is CLS. And that's CLS timber. It's what you make stud walls with and what have you, and you make timber framed houses with. Make the panels out of that. So first thing we need to do is that we'll cut some timber. Yes, yeah, so that's uh, that's the bunch of timber we need to make three frames. Two sides, top, and bottom section there. So either side we've got to notch that out. Now you can use a bandsaw. I'll just 
use a jigsaw. Right, if we stood in bolt, this is the length of it, and we're looking at side at bolt here from internally. Bulkhead's here. Right, I'm leaving 300 mil there because we've got to get accumulating and uh, pump, what have you. That'll go within that. So, first frame will come in here. I made a bit of a mistake there. I forgot I've got to put one here. <laughs> and I put that in the centre of the full length of it. But I'm leaving this end open for the, uh, what do you call it, the, the pump and what have you that goes in here. So I needed another frame in here. And I need to move that along so it's in the centre of them two. That's it. Took my mind off it, made a mistake. That's it folks, end of part one, that's first bit done. We covered from his mistake, yeah. as I say anybody want made a mistake I'm made out, anyway, as long as you can get out of them you're alright. So that's it for today and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Morning folks, glad you could make it, anyway back on this job. So, what I've decided to do before I do anything else on it is get some varnish. I've sanded it all up, get it a good fettle. So we're going to get it a varnish now because we don't want to leave wood untreated. If you leave it untreated, it will take the atmosphere in, the moisture, etc., from the atmosphere, and it will dry out quicker and everything, and then you'll get movement. And especially on the boat, you get a lot of condensation on them boats, you know. Uh, you want lots of airflow around everything. So I'm getting this, getting it all, give it a coat of varnish. It's a, a floor varnish. It's from Screw Fix. It's the Screw Fix no nonsense floor varnish, which I use a lot of. And I'll just get all a good dose of that. I'll take an hour for it to dry for that. Half an hour warms up a bit. And then uh, while I'm doing that, I can be sorting some material out. All of the coat all over, every side, get it sealed up. You don't get water in it, and you don't get the uh, atmosphere conditions going into it. And you always want to seal timber. You don't want to leave it just raw timber. It just gets filthy anyway. So get some varnish on it or paint, and then uh, you can get a wipe down. So you know, get a wipe, clean it up. Anyway, that's first coat of time, it's taking an hour to dry or something, but I'll get all the rub down. When it's all done, we'll get another rub down and then uh, another coat. Alright, so it's had a couple of 
coats of varnish all inside. It's a water-based varnish, dries quick as out, especially in summertime. It's not doing bad today. We've so varnished all the areas that we can't get to after. And I'm not done the top second coat, but in there I have. Now, next thing I need to do next is make the drawer boxes. So we're going to get two of them made. And these are both exactly the same width as that tip mill. So, got two boxes to make, 280 tall, 666 wide. That sign of summit in it, is that the devil or summit? 500 deep. So that's it, we'll use birch ply, I've got enough on this, what's left of the sheet I made the other boxes from, There's enough there, so I'm going to get them made now, because once they're in, and then uh, I can make the drawer fronts, get the size, exact size for them, and then the front will be cut to go over the drawer front, so it's like uh, you want to start it back and work forward. I think that's the best way to do it anyway, no mistakes then, so we'll get on with that. Right, so we've got some board ripped there, two strips ripped. Um, we're reproducing what we've done these other boxes with, the two sides. We're going to route that 9mm slot out. It's 10mm up front edge there, and um, a 9mm panel inside, this is 12mm. 12.5 half inch frame, 9mm bottom, strong as an ox. So we're doing that, but these are 280 deep. And um, getting the maximum storage we can in there. Because, like I keep saying, we are short of storage on any boat, especially a small boat. So you've got to make use of every space you can to store some at. So that will give us two nice big deep cupboards there, under bed, under bench, uh, probably get bedding in there, something like that. So that's it, we're going to do this, route this, cut them down, make them into boxes. Right, that's the two uh, boxes done there, piece for each box that. So now um, we can make them into boxes. Our trouble with the router there, it was sticking. You get friction, especially in winter time. Any timber will get a little bit of moisture on the top and you get friction there. And if you use this stuff, I mean, it's for, um, you can put it like out of there, router bases, gives you a non-friction base. And it's just like a wax, oops. But it, you use it not just on that, you use it on the machine and here on the plane and the bench saw and anything, any steel surface or plastic surface makes it zero friction, it's a world of difference. You can get some sprays, they're not as good as this. And that, that tub will last <laughs> two or three years at least. Yeah, you don't put a lot on and it lasts a long time and it don't mark the timber. It's not just a, a wax, it's a special wax. So. I don't know how long I've had that, probably three years, that one, so makes world of difference if you've got stuff sticking and dragging and that. It didn't help that that router cutter needs sharpening and it worked the last one I'd got. So anyway, we're there now. So I'm going to slice these up in tip box sections and we'll have them together. Right, so we've cut the four components for the box here, but the back one, we don't want the groove in it, because that's the back one, and we need to cut that shy, so we can screw 
up into it then. So all you do with your back one is you run that off along there and that's the uh, correct height then. Okay, so we marked up for the biscuits. I've used that bit of scrap to get the biscuit in the centre so that's a number 10 biscuit size. So what we'll do is just plunge all that lot, two, four, six, eight plungers, cut the back, gating clamps, index. That's it then, that's dry run. Everything fits up, tickety boo. Oh, have a bit of glue on it then. And uh, that's first box med. Back it net. So that's the first fit of those in. Still want to just in a bit, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. We're just getting it, getting everything in and then you have to titivate it to get it all sweet. So I've got a doormat, I'm just gonna take that out at clamps and we'll have a look at that. So this tray must sit something like that, covers all that opening up, but then there's another frame that's attached to the lid on this, so the, the seat, the board that goes all the way across slides out and that will dress all this up to be flush, so from there down to there it will all be flush and then the whole lot comes out and meets up with the bench on the other side making the bed. So all that lot from the top there and it comes down bottom rail and the whole lot pulls out. Anyway that's as far as I've got today and we'll call it an end for this one. So Join me next time and you can see the rest of it being done. And we'll have it in boat and, have, and we'll have a look. It's going to work fine, this. You know, it's a, everything's based on sort of around the same sort of idea to do with seating and that. I have seen them, uh, Stephen on boat up at Marina, one at Powell's, he, he's got them. He's got these either side. He's got actuators, you press a button and the beds come together. Ah, it's smart as hell. We'll, we'll see if he'll show us one day on there. I'll ask him to show us how, he, how it's done like. And uh, anyway, that's it. So, really means a lot for anybody liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. And uh, any comments, more than welcome. And anyway, all right then. I'll see you all. Ta-ra!